Every day I take the same route to go to school. And each day feels like the same as I carry on life. Sleep, pray, eat, study, work, and the cycle goes on and on. But today was a different day. It was still the same routine and I wasn't going into a big adventure, nor was I bitten by a spider to eventually save the world. It was something so little. And it is sometimes through the little things that Allah give us that we benefit the most from and sometimes we fail to notice them. I believe that things are given to us from Allah in a particular time and in a particular way for us to grow and get closer to Him. Today, Allah has given me something that opened my eyes to a whole new perspective, the perspective of Sana. I met Sana in the Musalla of my campus, and as I offered her my greetings, I realized something was off. Sana was deaf. It was the first time I met a deaf sister and as I noticed she was reading the Quran earlier, I suddenly felt the urge to ask her this question. I was wondering how she was able to recite and learn the Quran and how she prays as a deaf Muslim. I was kind of afraid my question would have been a bit rude, especially on our first meeting, but ironically it felt easier to talk with her. She told me that it's very hard for her to remember even one ayah in a week, but thankfully she has a translation to better understand it. And when she prays, she has to visualize the words, but it's not her disability that will stop her from carrying her obligation. Then she told me the most beautiful thing. She told me that although it is hard to communicate with people, with Allah it is much easier. Because he speaks to us through the Qur'an and she knows he will always understand her. I was glad to meet Sana and in the end I proposed her to exchange numbers in hope to meet her again. I was thinking about what Sana said earlier. I realized that Allah gave me so much in this world, but I took everything for granted. I had a voice to recite the Quran, ears to hear it, and eyes to read and understand it, but I wasn't using them properly. And just like that, the Quran was left on my bookshelf, forgotten.
So on that day, I decided to use them the right way. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى أرآه استغنى إن إلى ربك الرجعى أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع ناديه سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطعه واسجد واقترب